Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. To learn how a gift in your will can leave a legacy of eternal hope and a lasting impact for generations to come, call 1-800-257-296 or visit catholicmission.org.au slash wills. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today, of course, we celebrate the second Sunday of Easter, the great feast of divine mercy. And at every Mass, we stand at the foot of the cross with John and Our Lady and those faithful women disciples, and we allow the blood and water which gushed forth from Jesus like a fount of mercy to cover us. So let's renew now our faith in his mercy as we call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in, in the, the highest. highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindle the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The whole community remained faithful to the teaching of the Apostles, to the brotherhood, to the breaking of bread, and to the prayers. The many miracles and signs worked through the Apostles made a deep impression on everyone. The faithful all lived together and owned everything in common. They sold their goods and possessions and shared out the proceeds among themselves according to what each needed. They went as a body to the temple every day, but met in their houses for the breaking of the bread. They shared their food gladly and generously. They praised God and were looked up to by everyone. Day by day, the Lord added to their community those destined to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the day. rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his love endures forever. Let the sons of Israel say, his love endures forever. This is the And be glad. 
The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy has given us a new birth as his sons by raising Jesus Christ from the dead, so that we have a sure hope and the promise of an inheritance that cannot be spoilt or soiled and never fade away because it is being kept for you in the heavens. Through your faith, God's power will guard you until the salvation which had been prepared is revealed at the end of time. This is a cause of great joy for you. Even though you may for a short time have to bear being plagued by all sorts of trials, so that when Jesus Christ is revealed, your faith will have been tested and proved like gold. Only it is more precious than gold which is corruptible even though it bears testing by fire. And then you will have praise and glory and honour. You did not see him, yet you love him. And still without seeing him, you are already filled with the joy so glorious that it cannot be described. Because you believe and you are sure of the end to which your faith looks forward, that is the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me. Happy are those who have not seen me, but still believe. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. In the evening of that same day, the first day of the week, the doors were closed in the room where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them. He said to them, Peace be with you, and showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were filled with joy when they saw the Lord. And he said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so am I sending you. After saying this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. For those whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. For those whose sins you retain, they are retained. Thomas, called the twin, who was one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. When the disciples said, We have seen the Lord, he answered, Unless I see the holes that the nails made in his hands, and can put my finger into the holes they made, and unless I can put my hand into his side, I refuse to believe. Eight days later, the disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. The doors were closed, but Jesus came in and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he spoke to Thomas. Put your finger here. Look, here are my hands. Give me your hand and put it into my side. Doubt no longer, but believe. Thomas replied, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, You believe because you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. There were many other signs that Jesus worked and the disciples saw, but they are not recorded in this book. These are recorded so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing this, you may have life through his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Auschwitz. 
probably the most notorious concentration camp in all of history. And the man in charge of Auschwitz was Rudolf Hirsch. Under his leadership, three million prisoners were killed. Survivors of Auschwitz called him an animal. Not just an evil man, but an animal. A year after the war was ended, Hearst was captured in Germany and tried for war crimes. He was sentenced to death, and the court declared that Hearst should be executed at Auschwitz. And Hearst was terrified, not of dying, but of life in Polish prisons, where he would be at the mercy of guards whose relatives he had killed, and he had already endured the cruelty of his British captors. So he fully expected his Polish guards to torture him. And sure enough, he was placed into custody of Polish guards who were personally impacted by his crimes. And some of them could show him the tattoo they received as prisoners in Auschwitz. But the guards treated him humanely. He was astonished. They showed him mercy. Mercy is love we do not deserve. And this was the moment of his conversion. Hearst was brought up Catholic, but he renounced the faith as a teenager. And now, moved by the mercy of his Polish guards, he asked for a priest. The priest who answered his request had a personal history with Hearst. Father Lone was a Jesuit whose entire community had perished in Auschwitz. Father Lone was spared only because he was away at the time of arrest. And when he sought entry to the camp to join his confreres, Hearst refused and sent him packing. So Father Lone was called. He spent several hours with Hearst. And at the end, Hearst received absolution. The animal of Auschwitz was told, the Lord has freed you from your sins. Go in peace. After his death, a letter Hearst wrote was published in Poland's newspapers. And in this letter he wrote, I have come to the bitter recognition that I have sinned gravely against humanity. I caused unspeakable suffering. May the Lord God forgive me. I ask the Polish people for forgiveness. In Polish prisons, I experienced for the first time what human kindness is. Despite all that has happened, I've experienced humane treatment which I could never have expected and which has deeply shamed me. I think this story is an outstanding example of divine mercy for two reasons. In the first place, it demonstrates the boundless limits of God's mercy. It does not matter what any of us have done. If we approach the sacrament of confession with a sincere heart, God will forgive us. So go to confession. But in the second place, this story demonstrates the transformative power of mercy. Mercy changes people. That's a power that you and I have received from the Holy Spirit. The mercy we show others transforms the world. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, 
and life everlasting. Amen. God calls us to respond in faith to his resurrected son. So let us bring our needs and the needs of the whole world to our Father in heaven. For the Pope, may he find strength in your love. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace on earth, that nations will put aside division and hate and seek peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who do not believe, that in their doubt will turn to the faith. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Mass for You at Home community, that we always place our trust in the risen Lord and bear witness to our faith. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, you breathe your spirit on your people and strengthen the hearts of believers. Hear our prayers, which we make in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. faithfulness and love this love can never be measured God's beauty is like nothing we have ever seen so let us place our trust in God pray brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to claim you, O Lord, but on this day yet more gloriously, to lord you when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this 
is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Port Brian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
channel of your peace Where there is hatred, let me bring your love Where there is injury, oh pardon, Lord And where there's doubt, true faith in you Make me a channel of your peace Where there's despair in life, let me bring hope Where there is darkness, only light And where there's sadness, ever joy Oh, Master, grant that I may never see so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. It isn't pardoning that we are pardoned. Of ourselves that we receive And in dying that we're born to eternal life Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Today's Mass is proudly sponsored by Cath News, your daily Catholic news service. Hi, I'm Father Mark de Batista, the chaplain for Mass for You at Home. I want to thank you for your support, be it spiritual or financial. Without your help, we cannot keep this ministry going. If I may be of assistance to any of you, feel free to reach out to me. May God bless you.